What's good? It's your boy Algo Bailey, and we are back at it again. Um, we're gonna be doing an Apple trade update. Uh, last week's, I believe it was like the eighth or so, I uh, gave out a free trade idea on my social media, which is at Algo Bailey. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. But um, I, I wanted to just, you know, kind of show the people the power of of knowledge really in your technical analysis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an Apple trade update. We're gonna go through technical analysis. We're gonna see uh, what a symmetrical triangle is and how to play it, how to identify it, how to plot levels, how to trade it, and when to take profits. Because once again, the most important thing when you're trading is when to take profits. If, if you're not leaving with profits, you're, you're, you're not trading, you're donating. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, once again, we are Option Snipers. If you have not already, make sure you join us. All you have to do is go to optionsnipers.com. We have a free five-day trial going on right now. And then from there, drop the 74 a month. We actually have an affiliate program going on right now, which actually pays you for your subscription. So, I mean, I, I don't know how it gets any better than that. While you're at it, click that YouTube subscription button, like right now, right now, like right now, right now, right now. Um, and then also join us, Option Snipers, on Twitter and Instagram as well. This is where you get some of these exclusive trade ideas uh, for the free. Uh, we, we are for the people, so we want to make sure to just feed you guys as much knowledge as, as we possibly can. And also that you understand the why behind what we do, not just, hey, take this trade because it's there. So let's get into it. So what we're going to start with is our original chart from Apple. Okay. This was uh, made on the 8th of December. I always like to timestamp because I want you guys thinking that I'm just pulling this stuff out of you know where. Um, there's a lot of traders out there that don't put themselves out there like this, but my job is to empower and teach you guys how to do this stuff, right? Um, so we're gonna go real quick to our Discord, right? Um, you guys should see this uh, call out that we got in our... Um, our sniper AI or sniper ideas. Uh, actually, it's one of our AI tools in the Discord. Um, and this was Monday, December 7th, 9.44 a.m. We got an Apple long alert, okay? So this is what kind of uh, sparked me to really want to uh, at least chart Apple and see what was going on there. Uh, Apple's kind of like that, uh, you know, that, that cute girl at school that you just never really talk to, like, oh, you know, we'll get around to it eventually, you know? Uh, she, you know, she's not moving. She ain't going nowhere. Right. Uh, <laughs> and that, that's kind of how I, I took Apple for a while. Um, just waiting for it to do this consolidation that it's been in. So as you'll see uh, from the chart, this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, Apple's been in a form of consolidation for a little while now. Um, and so we were hoping to finally see some uh, bullish momentum and get it, get it going again. Right. Um, so well, we got we to gotta know where we came from to know where we're going. And I want to be able to uh, map out this symmetrical triangle that we were able to draw, right? So Apple came from a very, very bullish move, right? All the way up to all-time highs, about 138. Um, now, I know probably a few of you guys are asking, well, why is your um, top line support on your triangle not based from all-time highs? Uh, and that I'll be honest, because it didn't make any sense. Um, it spent so little time up there, part one. Um, it makes you think that it was just like Hampton kids that have like algos and daddy's money to play with. They were just like, let's buy it up and then clap it, <laughs> right? Um, and so uh, just by looking at the four hour chart, uh, this really seemed like our resistance right here, right? Um, from from the, uh, the rejection of this wick right here and then uh, forming out. All right, from the bottom, we have our bottom line support. Uh, you're right, some of you guys might be asking, why don't I include this on my support? But once again, spent so little time down there. And really what I'm trying to see is where price action touched more, All right? So price action touched this line more than it would have touched that line down there. Price action touched this line more than it would have touched the line from up here. Um, and so here we have our asymmetrical triangle. Now, when it comes to your asymmetrical triangles, uh, you guys already know there's quite a few different ways to play these. Um, for one, we want to always know what the base of our triangle is, right? So that we know what the potential is for the breakout. You don't know the potential for the breakout unless you know how much uh, price action is being cooped up in this consolidation right here. So 
um, we'll see that this is from 103 to about 128. All right, so that's where uh, the base of this triangle uh, lies. So that's about 25 points. So the first thing that we did is we plotted a level 25 points above uh, the top of this triangle right here. So that's a little bit higher, but we are expecting Apple to be able to reach a point like that uh, with a real breakout of this consolidation right here. All right, so from all time highs, uh, we got caught up in this consolidation, right? So we bounced down, up, down, up, down. And then we finally tested the breakout of the triangle right here. Um, now in this triangle, you wanna always identify your area of focus, right? So this is where most of the shares have been traded within the triangle. The reason why this is important is because in order to have a breakout, you have to clear that area, right? So we drew this uh, line at 120.97, just based on how many times it touched price action on this four hour chart, right? So you'll see at this line, one, two, uh, three, four, five, right? Almost six right there. Um, seven, almost eight and nine right there. You know, 10, 11, 12, right? So it touched this level a lot. Um, and then for our uh, bottom line support of our area of focus, we did the same thing. We just tried to see where price action touched as much as possible, right? So it touched once there, twice, right? Bounced right there, that's three. Um, we keep going over, right? Four five, six, right? So we got about six touches on that line right there. So this we can all, uh, we can, we can definitely call our area of focus, right? And this is from uh, 111 to 120. So it's about 10 points, right? So when I'm looking at this area of focus, okay, well, from breaking out of the area of focus, could it get that 10 points? In theory, yeah, right? So uh, we drew a support line, or sorry, we drew a profit target um, at that, right? Next up, we drew, um, Lines from this one, uh, this, or sorry, this 120, what is it, 125 to 107, right? Well, why do we draw those uh, lines? Well, right here was uh, an area of support, right? Up here was an area of resistance. And look how that area of resistance played in once uh, we had a breakout. All right, so we were able to uh, just chart some of this stuff up. And then what's the difference between 123 and 107? Uh, what is that, about 15 points or so? Um, so once again, or about 14 points. So we could take that, right, and project about 14 points up, right? So we have some pretty solid profit targets right here. And a lot of those have already been hit um, on our way to retesting all-time highs and beyond. Um, now, I told you guys that we have more levels. So uh, without further ado, I'm glad you guys are listening in because you guys are going to get a trade idea out of this. Um, but we got to move to most current price action now that we can see uh, exactly, you know, where, where we are now. Now, last thing I want to show you guys before we go is this trigger number right here, 127.03. Okay. The reason why I put that number there is because... Um, once we broke the area of focus, right? And then we broke this uh, last line of resistance right here, previous resistance. Um, and then we, if we look at the price action to the left right here, right? We had consolidation at that 127 golden line, right? That was the resistance of this consolidation. So the reason why I marked that number is because to me, that's gonna be a trigger point for a lot of algos to start going off. And as you'll see in the future price action, it actually did exactly what we thought at that level. Once it was able to sustain it, you're going to see a pretty little gap up in a couple seconds. So um, thanks for once again riding with us. We are option snipers. And let's get into this future trade idea on Apple. All right. So I told you guys that there's more levels. Uh, we are gonna get to that in a second. You guys see, I still have us capped out at this 138 all time high. And that's cause I want you sticking with me here, right? So let's look at how this transpired, okay? So we had our breakout of our um, symmetrical triangle, right? It cleared the area of focus, cleared the uh, resistance trend line, right? And broke up. Now we know what happens with the breakup. What are we waiting for, right? The retest, right? 
So you see we had our retest right here and it actually had to retest a couple times. Uh, during this area up here, um, I know I got into Apple. I'm sure uh, quite a few of our members did, right? So sometimes you just got to hold your breath. Look at the level of retracement. You guys hear me talk about retracement all the time, right? And that's, you know, essentially it's the opposite team trying to put in work, right? Bulls were like, yeah, <laughs> right? And then bears can only get it, couldn't retrace it, right? So what happened? The bulls got the ball back and they were like, bro, we still got some momentum. We're in enemy territory. Boom, right? We finally had our breakout in Apple. Um, now, Apple is just one of those that it, it I mean, it, it uh, because it's such heavy volume, um, it, it just, you know, it'll, <laughs> it just kind of moves on its own, right? It has this wave. It, it gives ground, it takes it back. It gives ground, it takes it back. Now, me personally, I love these kind of breakouts because what that means is that they're going to be sustainable, right? Mm -hmm. So, right, we had this breakout up here, right? Completely retraced the move and then gapped up, right? So once uh, we start to get a lot, um, some more momentum with these buyers, right, we won't see as big of retracement and we'll start to see some steady gains of ground once we clear the turbulence. So let's look at where we are right now and see if we're close to clearing that turbulence. All right, guys. So like I said, most of our members have been in Apple since about 124, been eaten, especially at this 131, testing 134 level. Um, but... I promised you guys some new trade ideas on this. So let's go for it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a scale in entry uh, right at our uh, 133.48 level. Okay. That's going to become a new scale in entry for our next Apple Play to test all-time highs, right? Our bullish entry is going to be just right at this level right here. Bullish entry is 134.84. Okay, now um, one thing I'm noticing here is this could possibly equate almost in a three bar type scenario, right? So what you see here, like to me is just one green bar, <laughs> right? That's projected up since 124 to about 134, right? It's almost a 10 point bar, right? So 134 could see about 144. Right, and look at that. We have a level at about 145. I want to move that down to about 144, 48. Let's call it right there, right? To where if this uh, if this breaks this level right here, this 134, 40, or really this 134, 84, um, we could see another 10 point move. Um, now, of course, we got our all time high level right here, uh, and then I would want to use all time high as TP1. Uh, I'd want to use just about in between there, about 140 round number, actually. It's TP2, right? And 144, longer hold for TP3. And that's just based on this move right here. So all we're focusing on is this potential uh, three bar type mechanism, <laughs> right? Where we have a wide igniting resting right now this is a four hour chart so this is 12 hours of ignition all right so we can expect two more candles or so in this area right here um, before we really go to test on four hour chart um, and that's just given expectation based on the time frame we're finding this on uh, and what we can expect to happen so we're going to call this um I'm going to call this TP1 now. It's TP4 slash TP1, depending on if you've been in this bad boy or if you're just get following and getting with us now. It's going to be our TP2 at 140.88 and then 144. That'll be our TP3. Uh, long hold. Okay. Now, from there, uh, like I said, we do have this 153 level. Um, that is also attainable, uh, but this, of course, is going to be long hold. This would be probably TP5. Long hold. And then it's probably going to need, we, we're definitely going to need another level in here. We need a TP4. Um, and guys, just for uh, 
all intents and purposes what you look for if maybe you have uh, no real reference <laughs> like what we just did is i look for psychological numbers right 150 definitely going to be a psychological number for apple i mean it's just a psychological number in general right same with that 140 um and so i'll put tp4 just before 150 all right uh that that seems pretty ideal so what you guys are getting right here is force fed levels just based on the momentum in this move right here you're seeing some continuation right you'll have your bullish entry right here at 134.84 right take it to the 38 take it to the 40 possibly uh longer depending on where you decide to uh hold uh what, what kind of contracts you decide to hold um there's a lot of bullish news uh, going on with apple um, if they have any kind of news about a car, um, just watch these levels come to fruition. Uh, you got your scale and entry. Uh, the, for those that have already been in, I mean, we're up to TP3 now, right? So I mean, we've been taking profit this whole way. Um, and that's, that's been pretty freaking amazing. Um, now let's see if we can zoom in. Let's, let's see, a see a 15 minute chart just to close this out and see if there's anything that looks um interesting so i mean i do see a bit of a triangle starting to pop off right here so we can see if this tries to do something tomorrow um luckily as you can see in this triangle like we've got a great level for a breakout of it right great level of bullish entry um, and the reason why I have this chugged up on bullish entry is because a little bit further to the left, when we were dealing with the uh, first chance at all-time highs, um, there was a level right there, right? So I'd rather be safer on the bet and take the break of that 134.84 into the all-time highs for Apple. So I'm going to give you guys one more shot of your profit targets um stop loss would be at the under the 12703 right so i would do stop loss right here that was our trigger number now it's going to be our stop loss and by the way look what apple look what apple did on that level right got above it right couldn't quite hold it came back to it and just took off from that 127.03. That was our trigger number. Um, we knew the algos were waiting for it. Think like an algo, print like an algo, baby. Um, so once again, if you guys have any questions about this kind of technical analysis, uh, I really want you guys to reach out to me. You can find me on Instagram at Algo Bailey, Twitter at Algo Bailey. Um, of course, you guys can DM me in the Discord server. But we've got some new levels that, I mean, if you want to, just create conditional orders, put them in, and just let them ride. Like, you know, these levels have been solid. Uh, <laughs> just kind of one of the things you get when you're a sniper. Uh, so, yeah, let's take advantage of it, guys. I uh, appreciate everybody watching and have a great night. All right, and last but not least, guys, uh, in an effort to create self-sustained traders and people that can, you know, teach their kids or their friends or their family and, you know, generations of traders, um, we have um, our one-on-one -on -one classes available for you guys. So if you like this technical analysis that we went through today and want to learn a lot more, you can go to optionsnipers.com click book a class, and then join our technical analysis one-on-one -on -one sessions. So all you would do is click that session, uh, pick a date, I'm open anytime, pick a time, push confirm, and then just make sure you click Bailey on here. Um, that is uh, me, I'll go Bailey, um, and I'll be the one uh, able to walk you through any technical analysis questions and things like that you may have. Because once again, I want everybody to be able to plot levels like this. I want everybody to be able to see, hey, what's the potential of these moves that can happen in the markets? And then be able to take advantage of them. Feed your families with this stuff, man. A little bit of technical analysis can go a long way. and can give you steadier hands to hold through uh, all-time highs or retracement you know nobody likes shaky hands because then you see a contract that you let go of triple quadruple go a thousand percent higher right and you're stuck with the little maybe 50 or 100 percent that you gain 
right? So this is all garnered through technical analysis, and I want to be able to help you guys with that. So once again, option snipers, book a course, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.